Hi, Danielle Silver here. I'm actually in Silver Street in Glastonbury today now. And um, we just come here today to see um, Paul, who has the Blue Cedar print works. He's ab above here, OK? And um, he's a part of Glastonbury. He's the only printers in Glastonbury now. And he's got a, a, a printers with a difference because a lot of people here put their artwork in for exhibition. So we're just going to have a quick look and speak to Paul. OK, come with me. Hi, Paul. Hi, um, we're just coming today to look at your beautiful artwork you've got here being displayed and what do you do in Glastonbury? Okay, well, we do a number of things. Uh, we've got a small gallery where we display the work of local artists, mm -hmm. um, but we also do other things for artists as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we do printing, so yeah. artists bring us their paintings and we scan them and photograph mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and then we can turn them into nice prints and mm -hmm. um, greetings cards, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, we also do general printing as well, so yeah. we do things like business cards, flyers, brochures, yeah. etc. Yeah, great. And so can we see some of the art that Yes, of course, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, who, um, who's this artist here? The artist uh, for those ones is Mark Kelly. He's quite well known in the oh, town. Yeah. And he does music as well. He does music, he's a busker, yeah, yeah. and he's often seen on the high street. That's such a good uh, angry that's quite nice, isn't it? And um, you can see from how they're painted, it's, it's almost like it, this is how he's imagining the town, because like this one is sort of taken from somewhere yeah. high up and somewhere, he's so he's, sort of, he's obviously doing it from his imagination. Yeah. Um, and this is how the town yeah. could be. And is this with oils? Uh, I believe they're with oils and acrylics. He, oh, use, he, uses, he uses both. That's different, isn't it? He so, uses both together, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's lovely. So let's go along here a bit because we've got some more behind here, haven't you? We have, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've basically well, we've got the whole the shop is for okay. two and artists. Who's, it, who's this one here? They're marks again. They're marks um, again. And again, they're a bit larger, but they're again views of of Glastonbury. You see, in fact, yeah. virtually every painting we've mm -hmm. got seems to have a a feature of Glastonbury, be it the church or the tour, you know. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh. You know, because he's a musician as well, he's brought in a lot of music in his uh, paintings, yeah, doesn't um, he? What you could sometimes do, you might look at those people and think, oh, I know him. You, yeah. know, you recognise some, yeah. of the, some of the yeah. characters that yeah. he's, uh, he's put in there. Yeah. The okay, let's go around here a bit. Change this um, when you're putting like, somebody's uh, paintings up because I know Lee said he's going to be putting his up in here, isn't he? Yeah, we've got Lee's here. Oh, you've got some of Lee's. These are Lee's here. Oh, we're, we're doing an exhibition of Lee's work as well. And he's a um, street artist. As these well, are on for the whole of June, yeah. And then we've got Kev Pearson coming for the whole of July, yeah. yeah okay, and then we've got another exhibition mm. starting in August, so yeah. it tends to be on a sort of like for four or five weeks of, yeah. on the calendar month basis. Can you zoom in? Is that oh, yeah. I love the way he's worked with the colour there. It's oh, it's incredible. Yeah. It's so talented. Yeah. Um, and we're getting a lot of interest from other galleries and yeah. from um, people up in London mm -hmm. about his work because it, it really is quite exciting. It's something yeah. a bit different. Yeah, it is a bit different, uh, isn't it? And he's obviously got a lot of talent. Yeah, like that one there. That's obviously St John's Church there. Yeah. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Move this so you can see. That's a nice one, isn't it? What about this one here? Is this, this is, uh, is that Lee's again? Is That's it? Lee's, one of those is Lee's, yeah. yeah. So, if somebody wanted to display their art, how, what would they, how would they get hold of you? Well, we're, we're, you can come and see us, it's the easiest thing. We're actually open six days a week, yeah. um, from 9 till 6, Monday to Friday, yeah. and 11 till 5 on Saturdays. Yeah. Um, so the first thing is to come and see us. Is there a big waiting list to there, display their art? Yeah, there's, there's quite a big, obviously there's a lot of artists in town, so yeah. we give priority to those who are in our online gallery. Yeah. Um, and if they're in the online gallery, then they're sort of in, in the yeah. queue. And what's this online gallery? Well, well, the beauty of the online gallery is that it's a way of artists displaying their work, but particularly mm -hmm. for prints, the prints don't have to exist yeah. until somebody buys them. So oh, if right. it's an open edition, so, um, yeah. so for example, we have a, one of these prints up for sale in, yeah. in the online gallery, somebody sees it, we then print it. Oh right, okay. So um, yeah, it saves the artist money because yeah. um, it basically means that um, they haven't got all the upfront up yeah. costs. Yeah. It's quite inexpensive. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Um, most of the people who are in the online gallery have yeah. got their site up and running for under 20 quid for, That's a, fantastic. for, a, for a website. That's fantastic. And that yeah. makes it more 
access, you know, for people to access it, wouldn't it? You know, it like does, you say, not like loads of money up front. No, and exactly, that, yeah. and there's no annual fees yeah, either. There's yeah. no sort of bank charges or PayPal fees or yeah, whatever. Brilliant. So we're just brilliant. trying to help the artists as much yeah, as we can, brilliant. and it's working well. We are getting yeah, a lot of sales yeah. through there. Yeah. And and um, well, who's these um, these ones here? Are they? They're leaves as well. They're leaves. That's a different yeah, style for him, isn't well, it? Well, it's again, it's the sort of the, the ethereal sort of impressionist style. Yeah. If you look at them, there are actually three images of sacred mm. sites. You've got St Michael's Mount on the left. Yeah. The one in the middle is, is Glastonbury Tor, and that's a Stone Circle on the yeah. right. And what about these sculptures here? Who, uh, who are those? They are the work of um, Annalise Bogle Trelawney who is a Swiss artist, but she actually lives in West Pennard. Oh, right. Okay. And they're beautiful. They're yeah, sort of, they're lovely, sort of all they? carved and um, from, rock, well, and also cast in bronze and mm. resin. It's, they're lovely. Yeah, lovely. So you've got lots of prints here for sale as well. These are people that have come in before. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah we've, we've, got, we've got loads and we, we, have, yeah. we alternate the stock as well with yeah. what we have. Lovely. Let's see yeah, yep. And um, what, who's is this one? Oh, that's one. Zoe, Zoe Stead. Um, oh, is it? Fact, oh, lovely. Uh, Zoe, um, that's know. one that we've just recently photographed. And she's and very just, local, isn't she? She is. In fact, she, she tends to have a store on the market on a Tuesday. Yeah. And in fact, I believe that you can buy the prints there. Mm. But that's one we've just well, photographed. She's broke her arm at the moment. So yeah. She's not there at the moment. Yeah, so that, again, is beautiful, yeah. great for her because we can sell, she can but sell prints. if anybody wanted to get hold of her, they could get hold of her through you, could they? Either through us or you can find her on the market on a Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. So, um, yeah, so should we have a look at some of the little cards you've got? Because they're a bit different as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, there's some, some here. And these are different artists. So over. we've got one of these. This is like a nice one of uh, Deborah de Mornay Penny. She does lovely detailed ones of and these. Who's, and who's are these? Here? These are Sandra Brandt. Sandra Brandt. And, you, and obviously some of the artists that come in they end up putting some cards up here, do they? Yeah, yeah. basically anybody mm. which we print cards for, we will we will put up for sale here. Yeah, so, lovely. Um, That's really nice. That's and again, we get obviously we get sales here. Yeah, great. So, and um, who are these cards over here then? Uh, those ones are, they vary. Um, that's Diana Milstein. Those ones are Anna Leone. Oh, this is different, isn't it? Yeah, these they're orbs. Orbs. Oh, that's more like it, isn't it? <laughs> so these are orbs. And who are these done by again? Anna Leone. She, again, she lives in town. Anna Leone. Uh, she photographs them. That's lovely. And she also gives, she gives talks about them. She yeah. runs an orb meditation group. Wow, where's that? Uh, it's, it's just as a sort of flyer just down there, uh, Danielle. Um, okay. At the back on the right, on the left side. No, on the <laughs> straight ahead. Just this one. That one. Okay. It's got the dates on it and everything. Okay. That's really interesting. So the next one coming up is on the 4th of July. That's brilliant. And um, the ones around the side here, who are these? They're Diana Milstein. Right, okay. Um, very well known local artist. Yeah. And that's features, she does a, a character called Miss Smith and uh, some of those feature, feature Miss Smith. <laughs> they're a bit comical some of these, aren't they? Oh, they're lovely. Yeah. I think she's really talented. And is this, who's this they're one? More, they're ones from Sandra Brandt as well. This mm, one's on. I like that one. That's lovely. Got the We've just got so much talent in this town, it's incredible. It's amazing, isn't it, yeah. how much talent yeah. there is here. Absolutely amazing. So, if somebody um, wants to um, come here and get some prints done, um, how do they get hold of you, Paul? Well, basically, um, as I say, the obvious thing is to come and see us. We're open six days a week. Uh, From 10 o'clock in the morning? Well, no, 9 o'clock. Oh, actually, 9 o'clock. It's getting, opening earlier oh, now. <laughs> yeah, well, we're getting busier. We are actually the only, the only yeah. printer in town which has got a retail presence. Yeah. Um, so we're open from 9 o'clock till 6 o'clock Monday to Friday. Mm. We've also got a website which is www.bluecedart.co.uk. That's B L U E C E D A R T. Wow. .co.uk. Thank you. And then there's also mm. um, that covers most things. So okay. you can go there and it leads off to the right. other websites and the online well, gallery. Thank you for speaking to me well, today. Well, thank you for yeah. your time. Yeah, well, thank you. Lovely to see you. All right. Bye. Don't yeah. forget to subscribe. Danielle Silver, Medium. Bye.